uh, SIB book launch and uh, Shakespeare's play event. I uh, heartily welcome the parents, teachers, students, friends and families who have come to support the SIB students today. I appreciate your presence. Akova. Donc je vais le faire en français. Je remercie euh, toutes et tous d'être présents parmi nous ici ce soir pour applaudir euh, la performance des élèves de SIB. Donc euh, que ce soit les proches, la famille, les amis ou bien encore euh, euh, l'ensemble des, des, des personnes qui accompagnent ces enfants. Euh, et euh, donc je vous remercie de votre présence et vous souhaite la bienvenue à Kwaba. I know that uh, the students and Mrs. Uh, Wokolo have been working hard behind the scenes to make this event happen and we hope that you enjoy and give them your support and undivided attention even as the event goes on. Donc je vous remercie euh, profondément et surtout je remercie donc euh, les élèves et Madame Nokolo pour tout le travail euh, achevé cette année dans la section internationale britannique pour avoir mis en place euh, l'événement qui va se produire ce soir sur scène. J'espère que vous allez apprécier ce spectacle et surtout que vous allez euh, supporter et applaudir avec euh, vraiment force ces élèves qui ont beaucoup travaillé pendant toute l'année et nous faire la performance qu'ils vont nous montrer ce soir. I'm aware that uh, we have the students and they will be launching their book which contains stories that they created. I am super proud of our students because they are driven uh, and committed. I can imagine that it was an easy feat writing a play, how it in English, yet they did it and I am proud of their efforts. Donc je suis vraiment particulièrement fière de, de congratuler, de féliciter ces élèves qui ont écrit donc de, tout un recueil en fait en anglais qui est extrêmement riche en vocabulaire, très imaginatif aussi. Et donc je suis vraiment honorée ce soir de pouvoir les présenter et surtout de pouvoir vous proposer cet ouvrage qui est extrêmement complet et très riche en vocabulaire grâce à la section internationale britannique qu'ils ont suivi pendant cette année scolaire. Later on during the program, the book will be launched and should be uh, and if you are interested uh, just get in touch with the teacher Mrs. Uh, Wokolo and she will give you further details to obtain uh, this book. Si vous êtes intéressé donc euh, par euh, ce livre, euh, je vous invite à vous rapprocher de madame Nokolo qui se fera un plaisir de vous donner l'ensemble des détails pour euh, euh, pouvoir euh, obtenir euh, cet ouvrage donc réalisé par l'ensemble des élèves et qui est vraiment conséquent. Once again, uh, welcome to everybody and just enjoy. Voilà, à toutes et à tous, un grand merci pour votre attention. Good evening everyone. Good evening. Thank you so very much for coming out today. The SIB students have been working super hard. My job here is just to tell you the outline of what we're doing. And I apologize for anybody who doesn't have a seat. Uh, more chairs are coming. I apologize. Thank you. Right, so immediately after I finish this, the CZM pupils are coming up to give you a talk. A little talk about their first year in SI. All right, if it's been fun, or if this lady here, the teacher, Mrs. Wokolo, has been super mean, they will tell you. Also, after that, we've got a song presentation by the Sankian and the Katriem students. After that, we've got the Toisiennes who have just finished their SI exams. They'll tell you what the experience has been for them. Afterwards, you hear a little history, all right? I apologize, and a bit about Shakespeare. And then we have a play. Please, it may not be perfect by any chance, but these kids have worked so hard. So please, let's try and just support them, even when they make mistakes. Is that okay? Yeah. 
thank you. Afterwards, we'll do our book presentation. The big reason why we're here. Please, can we give a round of applause to our SI writers? All right, now time for the CCMs. Come on up. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for coming here to listen to us. We have some sixth grade SIB students here to talk to you about the benefits of English literature and try to say a few encouraging words so that you know what to expect if you ever end up joining. First of all, my name is Rahel Chrysler. This is Ali Masri. This is Sarah Kanan. This is Carl Ganem. Uh, William Nassi. Charlotte Magne. And Rafael Mugani. SIB stands for Section Internationale Britannique. There are some optional English courses that you can take for English, his, English literature, history and geography, in addition to history and geography in French. If you start SIB from, um, from CCM, you can get extra academic credit. And when you're uh, older, in your Bovian Baccalaureate, it can really help um, your grades. SIB can also be a great opportunity to enhance your English skills if you aren't completely fluent in English. Today, today we are going to focus on English literature with Mrs. Nokolo. In our English literature class, we read plenty of books and learn many new things. The books we read or audiobooks we listen to up until now were so great and interesting, and I have no regrets in joining SIB. SI does not give you much more homework than you are already getting, and you get more ac extra academic credit without having to sacrifice too much of your time studying. If you are interested in reading or discovering new things, SIB is a really good place to start. When you do an additional class, it will always have a positive impact on you and will almost never have a negative impact. SIB can also make you better in other subjects such as regular English classes. We learn many language techniques that can help your writing become more interesting and can help you with English speeches, which can make you feel more confident when you speak English. Thank you very much for listening to us. We appreciate your attention, and I hope this will motivate you to join us, Abby. Good evening, parents, guests, teachers, and our prize students. My name is Ohema Bozwe Chao. I am 12 years old, and this is Nimo Usuasa. This is Yona Semenu Osman. This is Jad Alchami. Mike. This is Sally Teague. This is Ines Aladi. And we are members of the SIB course in Lycée Francais International Dakar. This evening, I thank the school first for coming up with a vision of a course that will help the best in students who saw interest in it. I am extremely grateful to the people who are attending this spectacle as well. But the true reason I came for it this evening is to thank the students of 4e, 3e, and 2e who wrote these books in under one year. An amazing feat that should be celebrated with a huge round of applause. <laughs> the famous J.K. Rowling took 17 years to write the Harry Potter books. An author takes an average of two to three years to create a book. These young individuals managed to create a book in under one year. These are students that were tasked with the work of going to school for an average of nine hours a day, an average of two hours a week of homework, and they still managed to create this beautiful group of poems. It makes me really happy that I'm a student of the SIB course because the International Britannique section is where these at first unpolished gems were made into fine, beautiful diamonds. If this doesn't urge you to want to join the course, having the knowledge that you and I could be one of these people someday should. This is wonderful. To be celebrated for its fantastic achievement is marvelous. In my year, CZM, we range from reading a fiction book written by David Alman called Skelly. We then continued with writing techniques that would help us one day in our lives. Thank you all for being here this evening, and I hope you are convinced to join us someday. Good night to all. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Noor, and I present to you In the Jungle, but a modified version to give you more insights about the play we will show you. on how literature has impacted us positively. Personally, uh, literature impacted me in many ways. First of all, it uh, helped develop my critical and creative thinking. And now I have a broader range of thoughts and opinions on issues such as poverty and social equality. It also, it also expanded my horizons, for example, by enabling me to learn new language features and techniques such as euphemism, uh, dysphemism, hyperbole, and so on. Good evening, good evening everyone, my name is Shakir and um, to me English literature is about understanding and comprehending situations from different perspectives. It allowed me to know more about English culture such as Robert Burns' Nights and it helped me analyze some text in other subjects as I knew why the author used this literary device or, his, or another one. In English literature really expanded my vocabulary and it enabled me to speak fluently in oral presentation and allowed me to express myself freely. Thank you, Mrs. Nokolo, for another amazing year. Hello, everyone. I'm Naomi. 
For me, literature, whether it be books or plays or anything else, are at once a way to pass the time enjoyably, but also what has helped me uh, grow my, create my imagination and develop my creative thinking. I prefer fiction, especially fantasy, and I'm always excited and impatient for the next plot twist, the next magical being sprung from the author's imagination, the next new character, exciting and engaging character. Analyzing the books we read in class was fun, and it also helped me learn how to see what different characters and scenes might refer to problems in our daily lives, like mental health issues or poverty. In my, it also gave me the skills to reflect on what I read when not in class, and, and see what the author might be trying to communicate. I would go on, but as Madame Nokuro always says, keep it short and sweet. Hello everyone, my name is Victor, and I will tell you how SID classes helped me. First of all, it helped me develop my critical thinking skills as a high as I had to do analysis on paintings, articles, websites, books, and poems. And it opened it also helped me de develop my creative thinking as well as I had as I had to write a play. I also in SIB I, I also did many presentations which helped me as a French native as a French native speaker to enhance my income my English vocabulary but also to gain confidence both while speaking in English in front of people and I'm here. Hello everyone, my name is Rita and personally English literature classes helped push me to broaden my point of view on different subjects and develop my ideas while still explaining them in a clear and effective way. It also helped me when expressing myself in front of a public and gaining more confidence when talking to others. In conclusion, I really enjoyed this year of SIB, especially as a new student to SIB. And um, it ended up being a very fun and interesting way of learning new things with Mrs. Nokoro. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lorena. At the beginning, I was reluctant to join the SIB English Literature section. However, I am now more than thankful that I did join. I would, I, wouldn't ha I would never have been able to think that I would be able to write a novelette or even go as far as writing a play. SIB really helped my imagination and my creativity. In addition to that, the resources explored this year to create my final portfolio helped me take a step into someone else's perspective on how they view things. This really helped my critical thinking skills. Finally, SIB made me connect to the English-speaking world and made me discover things that I never knew about before, such as Robert Burns' Night. I am really grateful for having the, the chance to join SIB and even more for the opportunities it's brought to me. Hello everyone, my name is Kieran. I'm in 3 and in the international section. At first, I was not aware that I was going to join the SIB and I did not even know what it was. Then two years later, here I am and I haven't left the SIB. Um, English literature allowed me to make new friends, meet new people, even talk to people I haven't talked, be I haven't talked before. SIB helped me to develop my creative and thinking skills. It helped me improve my way of thinking by listening to other people's presentation and opinions. SIB helped me to gain confidence while doing a presentation. It helped me express myself better in English. And thanks to Mrs. Nokolo, I learned about the British culture while studying. Thank you again, Mrs. Nokolo. Hi, I'm Jane, and even though this was my first year as an SIB student, English literature has challenged me to think creatively and outside the box through the various projects and assignments we have tackled throughout the year. Being part of this course has been an enriching and rewarding experience as it has allowed me to further develop my critical thinking skills and creativity and to grow as an individual. The curriculum of the program has challenged me to think beyond the surface level and analyze information from various perspectives. I have developed my ability to think and articulate my thoughts and defend my opinions carefully. Although English isn't my first language, SIB has also allowed me to build my confidence through the talks we had, and thanks to our teacher, Mrs. Nokolo. On that note, thank you for listening. My name is Yuan, and I'm a student in Second SIB. To my right is Elise, a fellow Second SIB student, and to my left is Daila, a Quatrième SIB student. So now we shall produce, introduce you to the fabulous author whose name is William Shakespeare.
William Shakespeare was the son of John Shakespeare of Stratford-upon-Avon. John Shakespeare kept a general store. He dealt in wool and other produce and gradually acquired property. John married Mary Arden, daughter of his father's landlord, a man of some property. The third of their eight children was William, born on April 23rd, 1564. There is little documentation about Shakespeare's boyhood. Nobody knew that he would become a dramatist about whom any information would be prized in the centuries to come. The most important record that we have is a marriage license issued by the Bishop of Worcester on November 27, 1582 to permit William Shakespeare to marry Anne Hathaway, seven or eight years his senior. Furthermore, the bishop permitted the marriage after reading the bans only once instead of three times, evidence of the desire of haste. The need was explained on May 26, 1583, six months later, when the christening of Susanna, daughter of William and Anne Shakespeare, was recorded at Stratford. Two years later, on February 2nd, 1585, the records show the birth of twins to the Shakespeare, a boy and a girl who were, who were Christian, Hamlet and Judith. But William Shakespeare was doing in Stratford during the early years of his married life, or when he went to London, we do not know. How Shakespeare broke into the London theatres as a dramatist and an actor, we do not know either. What we know is that by 1594, Shakespeare was a member of the company of actors, known as the Lord Chamberlain's Men. Shakespeare was both an actor and a shareholder in the company. What we do know also is that his plays were popular and he was highly successful in his vocation. His first play may have been The Comedy of Errors, acted perhaps in 1591. He wrote many other plays. Shakespeare retired completely about 1613. In the course of his career in London, he made enough money to enable him to retire to Stratford for the competence. His purchase on May 4, 1597, of a new place in Stratford with a handsome garden and the creator's increasing prosperity. There, his wife and children lived while he busied himself in London theatres. The summer before he acquired a new place, his life was darkened by the death of his only son, Hamlet, a child of eleven. Shakespeare's daughter, Susanna, had a good match in 1607 with Dr. John Hall, a prominent Stafford physician. The second daughter, Judith, did not marry until she was 31 years old, and then, under scandalous circumstances, she married Thomas Quincy, a Stratford wine merchant. On April 23rd, 1660, the anniversary of his birth, William Shakespeare died and he was buried as an honored citizen. On August 6, 1623, a few months before the publication of the collect edition of Shakespeare's play, Anne Shakespeare, during her husband and death. Shakespeare is now read, studied, and quoted in 18 languages. Thank you for listening. Hello, we are students of the CGM class. My name is Ali Masri. Hello, and my name is Rafael Mugani. Today we are going to be presenting A Midnight Summer's Dream. A brief history. A Midnight Summer's Dream is a continuously popular work. It was licensed for printing on October 8, 1600, and was printed in the same year. Internal evidence indicates that Shakespeare wrote A Midsummer Night's Dream for the wedding of some great personage. But that personage's identity has escaped literary historians. Scholars have guessed that it might have been written for the wedding of William Stanley, Early of Derby, and Elizabeth Vere, daughter of Earl Oxford, which took place in the presence of Queen Elizabeth at her palace at Greenwich on January 26, 1505. A Midnight Summer's Dream had a long and interesting stage history. How great, was, how great was its popularity when Shakespeare's company performed it in the Playhouse? It was listed among the comedies for which Shakespeare was famed. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 I will tell you about the story of a Midsummer Night's Dream. A long time ago, when there were still fairies in the world, in the country of Greece, where a great and powerful duke called Theseus. <laughs> in the town of his 
Philippines with this group. There was a law that a father could choose the, the man his daughter must marry. But if she disobeyed him in this matter, she could be punished by death. One day, well, Theseus and his bride took him. Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons, were planning the festivities for the first coming world. It was with and her two sisters, Lysander and Demetrius. Aegis complains that Hermia prefers Lysander and refuses to marry his own choice. Demetrius and requests that, if the, that, the, Athen, the, that the Athenian law be enforced if she persisted in her disobedience. Now we'll leave you with Theseus and Hippolyta. <laughs> Hello, my name is Talia and I'm going to be presenting the people in the play. Thesis, Duke of Athens. Yeah. Aegis, father of Hermia. Yeah. Alexander, in love with Hermia. Demetrius in love with Hermia. Okay. Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons. Hermia in love with Lysander. <laughs> Helena in love with Demetrius. Oberon, king of the fairies. Titania, queen of the fairies. Robin Goodfellow, Nick Venter, The Beast, Peter Kim, actor, Tom Smart, actor, Francis Cruz, actor, and The Fairies. Turn melancholy to jollity. 
for some people are not wanted in our ceremony. I captured you in my world, the Amazons, and won your love to me your injuries. But I will marry you in another country, with pomp, with triumph, and great festivity. Happy with Jesus, our famous duke. Thanks, good Dikius. What's the news with you? I come full of compensation to confess again my child, my daughter, Hania. Step forward, Jesus. My noble lord, this man has my consent to my lord. Step forward, Lysander. My gracious duke, this man has bewitched my child and made her love him. She says she will marry no one except him. You, you, Lysander, you have sent vessels of love by moonlight at her window. You have turned her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness. And my gracious duke, if she not, here before your grace, consent to marry Demetrius, I demand that she be killed according to the laws of Athens. What do you say, Hermia? Consider your position carefully. To you, your father should be as a god. Take his advice. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. He deserves your love. And so does Lysander. Perhaps he does, but he's not your father's choice. I wish my father looked with my eyes. Rather, your eyes must look at his judgment. Pardon me, Your Grace, but I want to know the worst that may happen to me. In this case, if I refuse to wed Demetrius. Either to die or promise to give up forever the society of men. Therefore, fair Hermes, question your desires. Examine well your passions, whether take your father's choice or endure the life of a nun in single happiness. My soul consents to grow, live, and die this way, my lord. Take time to think. I am to be married in four days' time. You shall give me your answer at my marriage. Upon that day, either prepare to die for disobedience to your father's will, or promise austerity and single life. Give up, sweet old Then you, my sender, give me my certain right. You have her father's love, let me have her means. <laughs> you, my sender, truly as my love, and I'm as mine. All my love of her, I give it to Demetrius. I am, my lord, just as well derived as he. My love is more than his, and, above all, I am beloved by beautiful Hermia. Why shouldn't I execute my right? Demetrius has made Nedar's daughter, Helena, fall in love with him. He has won her soul, and she still loves him. How could I make Helena unhappy by marrying the man she loves dearly? I must confess, I've heard so much about it. Being overfilled with self-affairs, my mind did lose it. Demetrius, come and Iki is come. You shall go with me. There's something I want to tell you. As for you, fair lady, you must choose between marrying Demetrius, Demetrius or being condemned to death or to a vow of single life. Come, my Nicolita. Demetrius, Iki is, go along. I must employ you in some business concerning our marriage and to discuss with you something new that concerns you sadly. Duty and desire will follow you. Oh, what now, my love? Why is your cheek so pale? Oh no, to choose love by another's eyes. Listen here, Hermia. I have a widow aunt who has no child. She lives in a remote house some 20 miles away from Athens, and she respects me as her only child. There, I can marry you, and the sharp Athenian law cannot pursue us to that place. If you love me, Run from your father's house tomorrow night, and in the woods where I met you once with Helena, I'll be waiting for you. Meet me there, and we'll run away together. My good Lysander, I swear to you, I'll meet you tomorrow at that same place you've appointed me. Keep your promises, love. Oh, look, here comes Helena. Hello, fair Helena. Where are you going? Are you calling me fair? Demetrius loves your fair, your type of beauty. My ear should catch your voice. My eye, your eye. My tongue should catch your tongue's sweet melody. If the world were mine, except Demetrius, of course, I would give it to be transformed to you. Oh, teach me how you look, and with the art you control the motion of Demetrius' sweetheart. I frown upon him, yet he loves me still. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. The more I hate him, the more he follows me. The more I love him, the more he hates me. His folly, Helena, is no fault of mine. None but your beauty would that fault be mine. 
Take comfort, he shall no more see my face. Lysander and myself will fly this place. Before the time I saw Lysander, Athens seemed as a paradise to me. I was divinely happy before I saw him. But now, without him, this heaven would turn into hell. Helena, we shall tell you our secrets. We shall fly Athens tomorrow night. And in the woods, where you and I often used to lie upon primrose beds, there Lysander and myself shall meet. And from Athens, turn away our eyes to seek for new friends and stranger companies. Farewell, sweet play friend. Pray for us and say good luck to Demetrius. Lysander, we mustn't see each other until tomorrow, midnight. As you wish, my Hermia. As you, Helena. <laughs> How much happier some can be than others. Through Athens, I am thought as beautiful as her. But what of that? Demetrius doesn't think so. While he was looking at Hermia, he swore he was only mine. And when he felt he could have her, he forgot about me. I will go tell him of Hermia's flight. Then he will pursue her tomorrow night in the woods. Demetrius may not love me, but if I tell him about Hermia and Lysander, he will be grateful to me. If I cannot have his love, at least I can have his thing. Hey, we shall get angry if we stay. Well, go your way. But before you leave this world, I'll make you sad and sorry for this injury. Come here. Bring me this little purple flower which people call love in idleness. We will put the juice of this flower on Titania's sleeping eyes. Then she will fall in love with the first thing she sees, whether it's a clown, a monkey, or a wild animal. She shall love him madly and will lose all interest in the little Indian girl. Fear not, my lord. Your servant shall do so. Having once this juice, I watch the Tanya when she's asleep and drop the liquor of it in her eyes. The next thing she sees when she wakes, whether it's a beast, a lion, a bear, she shall pursue it with a soul of love. And when I take the child from her, I'll make her give me back her love. But who comes here? I'm invisible and I'll overhear the conference. Then don't follow me. Where is thy sender and for Hermia? You told me they're come to this wood. But here I am, angry because I couldn't meet Hermia. Go away and don't follow me anymore. You attract me, you hard-hearted magnets. Instead of being hard-hearted, I am tender-hearted and faithful. Abandon your power to attract and also no longer have the power to follow me. Do I tempt you? Or rather do I not? For the plainest truth, I do not. No, I cannot love you. And even for that, I do love you the more. The more you beat me, the more I try to win your heart. Neglect me, lose me. I only ask for you to love me and treat me like your dog so that I can follow you. Don't tempt too much to betray my spirit for you. I'm sick when I look on you. And I am sick when I don't look onto you. You stain your reputation when you leave the city and commit yourself into the hands of one who doesn't love you and stay with him a night in a deserted place. You, in my opinion, are all the world. Then how can it be said that I am alone when all the world is here to look on me? I'll run from you and hide, and leave your mercy of what beats. So while this beast don't have a heart such as yours, run while you can, I'll follow you. Let me go, for if you follow me, be sure that I shall do you mischief in this wood. In the temple, the town, the field, you do me mischief. Demetrius, why can't women fight for love as men may do? I'll follow you to make a heaven out of hell, to die upon the hand I love so well. Farewell, then. Before you leave this wood, you shall, you shall fly him, and he shall seek your love. Welcome, wanderer. You have the flower with you. Here it is. I pray you, give it to me. I know a bank where violets grow. There, Titania sleeps sometimes at night. With the juice of this flower, I'll touch her and make her full of hateful fantasies. You, 
take some of it and search this film. A sweet Athenian lady is in love with a disdainful young man. Wait until he's asleep, then drop some of the juice on his eyelids. Now when he wakes and sees the lady, he will love her again. You shall know the man by the Athenian clothes he has on. Be careful. When he wakes up, I want him to love her more than she loves him. Then when you finish, meet me here at the first cup row. Do not worry, I shall do so. Through the forest, I have gone. But Athenian, 
I found none. On whose eyes I might drop this flower's ghost, the steering gun. Night in silence. Who is here? Government of Athens, he wears. Help me out here. Is this the right Athenian? No. Are you sure? Is this the right one? No. This is the right one. <laughs> so this is he, my master said who despised the Athenian maid. And there, the maiden sleeps out on the bank in dirty ground. Pretty soul should not lie so near a man who lacks of love. <laughs> Young man, upon your eyes I throw all the power this shine does owe. Wake up, and in love you'll be with the first person you shall see. So awake when I'm gone, for now, and the story's over on. Stay, otherwise you kill me, sweet Demetrius. Will you, in the dark, leave me alone? Don't do so. Stay on your own peril. I alone will go. I am out of breath in this chase. The more I run, the less I please Demetrius. Happy is Hermia wherever she lies, for she hath blessed and attractive eyes. How came her eyes so bright? Not with salt tears? If so, my eyes are more washed than hers. No, no, I'm as ugly as a bear, for bees that meet me run away for fear. That's why Demetrius flies in my presence. Here, Lysander, on the ground, dead or asleep. I see no blood, no wound. Lysander, you're alive, good sir, please wake up. Oh, Hannah, beautiful Hannah, fair Hannah, I'll have to fire for your sake. Where is Demetrius? I want to kill him. Do not say so, Lysander, do not say so. Even though Demetrius loves your Hermia, Hermia still loves you. Then be happy. Happy with Hermia? Oh no, I hate this single minute I spent with her. Not Hermia, I love. But Hermia. Are you making fun of me? Isn't it enough, young man, that I haven't deserved a sweet look from Demetrius' eyes? Farewell. I thought you were of more gentleness. Should a lady who is refused by one man be abused by another? Oh. <laughs>
so near the fairy queen. What? Preparing a play? I'll be an auditor. An actor too, perhaps if I see cause. I'll let you guys think about it for a minute. How boring is this play? I'll follow this man and change him into a beast. This will be funny. Kill me too, or tell me where he is. 
I haven't killed him. Tell me that he's alive and then I'll go away and never see you again. I don't know where he is. Anyway, you won't see me again, whether he's dead or alive. It's useless to phone her when she's like this. I'll stay here and get some sleep. What have you done? You have put the liquid on the eyes of the wrong Athenian man. I'll put it in this man's eyes. He must wake a love, Helena. Go, go quickly and bring her here before he, she wakes. He I wakes. go, I go. Look how I go. Swifter than the arrow from the torch. <laughs> Helena is here at hand, and the other man is following her, telling her about his love for her. Stand aside. The noise they make will cause Demetrius to awake. You are making fun of me. Why do you think so? I'm not making fun of you. I love you. But you love Hermia. Forget about Hermia. I had no judgment when I told her I love her. But you have no judgment now either, now that you've forgotten about her. But Demetrius loves her, and he does not love you. Perfect, divine, you isolate jewels. Oh, let me kiss you, my princess. <laughs> You're making a fool out of me. Hate me as I know you do, but don't join together to hurt me. You're unkind, Demetrius. You love Hermia. You know I know that. So I give you her there. But let me love her. My sender, keep your Hermia. I don't want her. My heart belongs to Helena now. Helena, it is not so. <laughs> Demetrius, what? Lysander, why did you unkindly leave me alone in the woods? Why should I stay when love does press me to go? What love could press Lysander from my side? My love, Hermia. Why are you following me? You should know that I left you because I hate you. You're not speaking as you think. It cannot be. She is one of this confederacy. They have, they have all joined here to make a fool out of me. Injurious, Hermia. Most ungrateful mate. Have you forgotten all school days friendship? We were joined together. Like a chariot, stealing parted but united in our partition. Why have you joined these two men to make a fool out of your poor friend? I don't despise you. It seems that you despise me. Haven't you sent Lysander to praise my eyes and face? Having to meet your other love, Demetrius called me goddess, nymph, and divine? You should not hate me. You should pity me rather than despise me. I don't understand what you mean by this. If you had any grace, pity, or manners, you wouldn't make such an argument. But farewell, I'll run away and leave my foolish heart behind. No, stay here, you're my excuse, my love, my life, my soul. Oh, excellent. Sweet, do not make fun of her. Helena, I love you for my life, I do. I hope you do it either. And if you do, then it's wrong, prove it too. Wait, you Lysander, where are you going? Away from you. Man, by the Athenian clothes he had on? 
<laughs> but I'm glad this is happening. It's fun to watch them quarrel. You see that the two lovers have, have gone for a good place to fight. Fill this night with a thick black cloud and lead the two men far away from each other. When they are tired of looking for each other, they'll lie down and fall asleep. Pour this, um, pour this magic liquid on Lysander's eyes. It'll make his old love to Hermia come back to turn when he wakes. Then everyone will be happy. They'll think all of this has just been a dream. And while you do that, I'll go to Titania and take the little girl from her. Then I'll set her free and she'll stop loving the beast. Up and down, up and down. I will lead them up and down. I am feared in the field and town. I will lead them up and down. <laughs> Here comes one. Where are you, proud Demetrius? Speak now. Here I am. Uh, uh, where are you now? Follow my voice. I shall be with you. Lysander, speak again. You run away. You coward. Why'd you hide your head? You coward. Why don't you come, you child? Are you there? Follow my voice. Faster he did fly. I shall rest here. Come, you gentle babe, for when you show me your bright light, I shall find Demetrius and get Rupert. <laughs> hey, coward, why don't you come? Wait for me, he's there. Where are you now? I'm here. You're mocking me. You shall pay for that whenever I see your face in the daylight. I am out of breath. I'm out of breath in this chase. I will lie here till the break of day. Yet, but three, come one more. Two of both kinds makes up four. I am so tired and so sad. I can no longer crawl or feather go. I will rest here. On the ground, sleep sound. I'll apply to your eye gentle lover's remedy. Wake up and you shall take true delight in the sight of your former lady's eye. And the country proverb known that every man should have his own, and your waking shall be shown.
My lord, this is my daughter here asleep. This Helena, this Demetrius, and this Lysander. I wonder what they're here to doing, what they are doing here together. Uh, no wonder they they rose up early to observe the rite of May, and hearing our intent, came here in grace of our solemnity. But Aegeus, isn't this the day Hermia is supposed to give me the answer of her choice? It is, my lord. Go, wait them. Good morning, friends. St. Valentine is past. I pray you all stand up. I know you two are rival enemies, so how come you're sleeping next to each other? My lord, I shall reply, amazing. How stupid, how pretty. But I swear, I cannot truly say how I came. As I think, I 
give you a proof. Our intent was to be gone and get married Enough, enough, my lord. Uh, they wanted to run away. I begged the law upon his head. Demetrius, they would have defeated you and I. My lord, Hena told me of their escape, and I, in fury, fought them. Hena fought me also because she loves me. But my lord, I don't know by what power my love to her are melted as the snow. And in all fate, the power of my love is only Helena now. Fair lovers, we were fortunately met. Igeus, I will overrule your will for tonight at the temple with us. Away with us to Athens, three and three, we shall hold the feast to celebrate our weddings. Come, my Hippolyta. Are you sure that we're awake? It seems to me that yet we sleep, we dream. Don't you think the Duke was here and told us to follow him? antique fables, nor these fairy tales. Lovers and poets have the same imagination. I know, but all the story of the night all over, and all their minds transfigured together. How strange and, and admirable. Here come the lovers, full of joy and happiness. May joy, gentle friends, joy and fresh days of love accompany your hearts. And yours too. Come now, what shall we do to pass this long age of three hours between our after supper and bedtime? The iron tongue has told twelve. Lovers to bed, it is almost fairy time. Goodbye. from the presence of the sun, following darkness like a dream. We are not playful and merry. Not a mouse shall disturb this hallowed house. I am sent to sweep the dust behind the door. Will oh, this house give a weak light? Weak, weak light. So we shall sing and dance tonight. Hand in hand with fairy grace, may we sing and bless this place. Music, song, dance. Now, until the break of day, through this house each fairy shall stay. So shall all the couples three, ever true in love and be. And the owner of this palace ever shall in safety rest. Shadows have offended you with how this flame has turned out. Think of this as all of you, or else you might call me a liar. So good night unto you all. Give me your hand if we shall be friends. I love it. Thank you.
children have created. Can we just clap for them? All SIB students, please come on stage. We'll have the Sugo first. And the Twasiems behind the Sugo students. Catch them behind.
said the Sankians especially, the key actors on the stage, they said this, we enjoyed reading A Midsummer Night's Dream. Why don't we share it with the school? And I said, there are a lot of lines. Will you be able to cope? They said this, let's try. I gave them a date for an audition, and I told them, you know what? If you can prove yourselves, we'll do it. Do you know that when these students came during the audition, they came prepared, I could not say no. Let's give a 